Hello everyone and welcome to another Vintage Story tutorial. Today we're going to talk about the map, the mini map and the map. I don't know what's going on with my character here, but she's super excited to get started. So first of all, you should have a mini map in the top right hand corner of your screen. You can toggle it with F6. You can use V to toggle the coordinates underneath the mini map. If you hit M for map, it will toggle the large version of the map. Now keep in mind, while this is enabled, it will prevent players from interacting with the world. But stuff can still happen to you while you have the map open, so just be aware of that. It's really easy to add waypoints to the map. You can click anywhere and just right click. And you can name it anything you want. You can select from a number of icons here. If you decide to pin the location, it will always be visible on your mini map, even when you get far away. And I'll show you that now. You see how that star is still pinned up at the top of my mini map. So that's what that means, pinned. You can also manually add waypoints via commands in the chat window. For example, if you are playing on a server and another player tells you about a location that you like to mark, say a waterfall, First of all, you'd press tab to show your chat window if it wasn't open already. And then you can type slash waypoint add at and the coordinates like this. False. Blue. You can pick a color from any of these colors right here. And then name it whatever you want. In this case, waterfall. So this is what it would look like. Hit enter and you can see that the waypoint was added. So let's take a look. And there's our waypoint right there. If you make a mistake and you want to edit it, just simply right click the icon and it will pull it back up for you to edit. Or if you wanted to change the icon, etc., whatever you need to do. Then if you don't need it anymore, just hit delete. And when we typed false in the middle of that string of commands, that was indicating whether or not you want the location pinned on your map. Another method that you could use would be slash waypoint add at I pick you would select the icon that you want to use so in this case pick then you would put tilde zero tilde zero tilde zero <laughs> false the color in this case orange and copper because I found some copper that I wanted to add to my mini map so this is what this would look like and then hit enter and you can see that waypoint number two was added. And if you take a look at the mini map, you can actually see the orange pick that I chose for the color and icon. So basically it will just add the icon to your current location. Now you might be thinking that sounds like a lot of trouble and there is a shortcut for this. You can add a macro. If you open control M, you will find the macro editor. I want to give a huge shout out to Aladark for this idea. This is genius, so bear with me. You're going to love it. It's Control M to open the macro editor. You can call it whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to make a quick command for copper because I'm always finding copper in the world. You might be running from a wolf and see some copper and you don't have time to open your map and type it in and all of that. This is going to save you. So... Um, in this case, just call it whatever you want. Click hotkey to activate this um, and then select the key on your keyboard or mouse that you want to use for it. In this case, I'm going to use the multiply on my keypad. And then type the command that you would use. So in this example, I would like to add a waypoint for an orange icon called copper. And then hit save. And you can close out of that. So let's say you were doing some exploring and you ran across some copper and you wanted to quickly mark that on your map. Just use the hotkey that you assigned and there you go. Super easy. And one last tip for you. When you die, you can right click the mini map to add a death marker. So no more wondering where you died. 
trying to quickly write down the coordinates, you can just mark that really fast and hit save and then it's going to be on your mini map. So when you click respawn, there it is. You can see my death marker up there in the mini map. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any tips or tricks that you utilize on the map that we didn't cover in this video, please leave a comment below to help the others. Please check out the Vintage Story series that's currently up on the channel. I'd like to invite you over to my Twitch channel. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 p.m. Central Time. If you're enjoying the videos, please subscribe and leave a like. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone.